Hey guys, it's Aaron, and today I want to take a look at working with reference TWG files inside layout. Layout's been able to import DWGs and put them on your drawing, and that's that's really nothing new. That's something that's been been available for a while. What we want to look at here specifically is how you can actually use it as a referenced file inside layout, make changes, and update your working document. So let's take a look right now. Okay, so here I have a, a document. Um, this right here is an imported DWG. It is at one to 600 scale. So one inch equals 50 feet, nice big park, uh, lots of parking buildings all over the place. So maybe this isn't is a, a background reference or, you know, if I have something like landscape on the front page or survey results, something like that nice big DWG I want to put in there. That's awesome. In the past, this would come in, I would have it in as a DWG. And and that was it, that'd be it, it would just be some some geometry I could drop on there and reference. What we can do now, though, is if I go to file and document setup, if I look at my references, it will actually be listed right here as one of my references. So I have the entire path here. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger to see the path. Ooh, bigger still. Let's go. There we go. Tells exactly where this file is. And then it also tells me what's the status. This is good. It is, is the information being seen in my layout file up to date with the information that's in the DWG file? And when was it dropped in? So at this point, if I select it, uh, I have the option of updating, editing, relinking, unlinking. Uh, unlinking is just going to say, you know, don't don't track this file anymore. What's in the file is what's what's on layout is all I need. Uh, update is if there is a change, I want to update it. And then of course I have relink. Relink is cool because if for some reason I get a totally new version of this file or something like that, I got a brand new version and. This is actually all reversed. And this is an extreme ex example, but let's say everything, this is very preliminary and they decided to just flip the whole park over. Uh, what I could do is I could say relink and then I could grab that new DWG file and click open. And boom, there it goes. It re-imports it. Um, I just come in here, I'm just gonna go stick it back to one to 600 scale. There we go. And it's in the same spot. It's anchored in the same spot. And I can see it's same file, it's just backwards, which is super cool, super easy, uh, especially if you have things like details or things like that that end up changing. Not the file actually changes, but you wanna swap it in for a new version. Okay, so let's say hypothetically now that we get a change to this file. So now in this case, I'm going to say that I'm, I'm working off of a file. Maybe, maybe multiple people in my office have access to the same file, or I went in and made a change, or somebody else put a new version of the same file name into the location where I had it saved. But for whatever reason, the actual file was changed. So I'm not swapping this out for a new file, but I need to, need to bring in a new version. I can tell right away that the, the file, the, the reference file has changed by pulling up my document setup, and I can see it's marked as being out of date. So let's go ahead and Look, so it's showing me the same same locations in the same spot. The insertion date didn't change because that's when I put it in, but my status is out of date. So there's something that's happened to the DWG file that's at this location that is not reflected right here. So obviously, depending on your workflow, you might unlink it or you know whatever you need to do. In this case, I'm going to say that I want those changes in my model. I want those changes in layout. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click update. I don't have to do anything else because it just goes out and grabs that file and updates it. And you can see that little building that was down here went away. So that file changed behind the scenes. And by clicking update, I now have the most recent information from the DWG file. So DWG files are great files to work with. And if you are working with any, any other groups, if you're working with, with files or, or background files, you know, details, background, landscape, stuff that's not actually in the SketchUp file, DWGs can be huge time savers. And if you are in SketchUp 2003 or greater, Layout can automatically link those files so you're working actively with DWGs the same way you would be with SketchUp files.
If you like that video, go ahead and click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly, they'll leave us a comment down below. Have you tried this function? Do you like it? Do you work with DWGs in your workflow? We like making these videos a lot. We like them even more. They're showing something you want to see. Thank you.